and loose. What's so good about that? When a blobfish tries to gulp down an octopus, the octopus fights back. I'm making my butterfly because my mom, since my mom likes all the colors, she makes the colors rainbow. Mm -hmm. Hello YouTube, it is Monday and it is the end of the day and I'm just now getting a chance to touch base with y'all. It has been a crazy busy day. Not a bad day, just very busy, very productive. Um, I couldn't film this morning because I didn't have my assistant or my tutor today, so I have been 100% all by myself today with my class, which is fine. It's not like I can't handle it, but it is sure nice to have the help. We did not have our wise groups for reading this morning. I think the wise tutors were at a workshop or in some kind of training. So there was a new mystery dug this morning. It was about why butterflies are so colorful. That was the question. And I think it was from a third grader. But there was a, like, a, like a craft activity to go along with the video today. And we started it. And it's really awesome because you can print out the material that you need. like. Um, a butterfly and then a card and it's actually a good great thing for Mother's Day but there's a video that tells the students how to put it together what to do step by step and it's very short clips so you play like step one you play that they watch it they do it and then step two step three all the way up to step 18 I think was the last step but the kids seem to really enjoy it. I did have a few scragglers who, you know, weren't doing exactly what the steps said and so then their butterfly was messed up and they had to start over or they didn't get finished coloring or whatever it was. But I'll go ahead and show you. We got the butterflies done, but we did not get the cards done. So here are the butterflies and you can see it's, they had to fold it a certain way but they hold it and then flap it like that. And this is actually going to fit down into the card once we get the card made. So their butterflies look really pretty. Like you can see these two had to start over and didn't have time to color because they messed up. Look at that one. Look at that, it looks so cool. It looks like a monarch. So we'll do our cards tomorrow. I also wanted to show you guys our plants. We have a radish and another radish down here. I don't think there's anything in those. I watered them when I came in this morning. Oh, that is Cucumbers. We got a cucumber started. And then Paisley planted her watermelon seeds in there, but nothing is growing yet. For math this afternoon, we are still working on three digit subtraction, like subtracting in parts. So we did some extra review with that. And then we went outside and it was beautiful. When we came back in, we rotated for math interventions, which is not typically done on Mondays. We usually do Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but we decided we're gonna do every day this week just to kind of review some major uh, standards that students may be tested on because we do have our math, test, math tasks this month. So we wanted to do a little bit of review with that. So I'm hoping that I will be able to film a little bit more for you guys tomorrow. It has been a very busy day. And if you are a teacher, you know that May is like the craziest time of year and you've just got so much going on. So all you teacher friends out there, I know you can relate, May is just crazy, 
but I am doing my best to upload and get some footage for you guys. So be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so be sure to thank a teacher and let them know how much you appreciate them. Our school did donuts for all the teachers for breakfast this morning, and we have different things each day of the week, so that is really nice. I also got my name in a drawing for a free half dozen of duck donuts, which is apparently a really great place to get donuts in our area, so I will be enjoying that at some point. So again, thank you guys so much. Thank a teacher this week, and I will see you guys tomorrow.